Hello everybody, this is uh, Montana Bushcraft bringing you another video. Sorry, it's been a while since I made one, just been busy with work. Uh, today, what I'd like to do is make a video pertaining to the solo stove. Um, I've had this solo stove for about a year, and I'll tell you, I love it. I've had this out in the elements. Uh, we got, I think, about four or five inches of snow out there already. I've had this out in there, so it might take a while to, to warm up here. But uh, I'd like to do a review about it and then also show you some of the things that you can do with your solo stove. Um, I got I mean, you can, for fire for it, you can use twigs, you can use branches, you can even use pine cones. Um, the times that I've used the pine cones, though, they don't last very long and they don't burn very efficiently. So, I mean, yeah, you can use them, but I wouldn't recommend it. If you got twigs or anything like that, I'd, I'd prefer using that. So, while I'm getting this fire warmed up, as you can tell, it's kind of cold out. Um, I have a few things here, one of them, oh, sorry. Uh, one of them is my Altoids 10, I don't snow all over myself, <laughs> sorry, so, anyways, you can use your Altoids 10 on here to make some char cloth, um, you can also boil water using just a regular cup. One of these fits perfectly on there. I don't know if you can see it too well. But the good thing about this is after you get done and you're about ready to put it away, you can actually put the solo stove in the cup so it saves space. I also have my little coffee pot here. And all these are just full of snow. Uh, the reason why is because I wanted to show you guys also how much snow you really need to actually make enough water to sustain yourself. So let's go ahead and get started here pretty soon here. Just gonna put these things on here. And the good thing about this too is I'm using this on a bench and all I have, and you don't really need this, but I have tin foil underneath it. Um, the good thing about this too is, you know, if if you're afraid that there's going to be a fire somewhere, uh, coals and everything like that, you can just put this pretty much anywhere and use it. So, let me go ahead and chop some of these pieces here so I don't ramble too much and lose the fire. So I'll go ahead and start with this and I just filled it with snow. And it'll take probably a while to do it so um, just take me a few moments here and this wood is all kind of frozen Should probably process the stuff already before I start it. And uh, I apologize. So I might have a few sticks here too. Still. Yep, I do. Plenty of sticks. Little twigs. And these work pretty nicely. I, uh, while I was away, I also bought a few new toys to try out. One of them is a mess kit I got from Walmart. And uh, it comes with a cup, a little bowl. It comes with a lid, which you can use also. And it comes with this little thing right here. 
I filled that up with snow too. Uh, and also comes with this little container holder. So you haven't even opened it quite yet. So it's got the little thing so you can grip it. I'm going to put that back down because it's a little too cold right now. So the whole thing was full of snow and it's still kind of doing its course. So once it gets all the way done melting, then I'll turn this back on and I'll show you how much has actually been melted. I'm back. So what I got here is just a little measuring cup, nothing in it. So go ahead, it's all the way melted here. So let me go ahead and pour this in here. So as you saw that this full cup was full of snow and it has made uh, roughly about eight ounces of water. So I mean you can survive on it but it takes a while. So go ahead pour this back in here and then next I use my little coffee pot and that's sort of full of snow. I don't know if you can see it or not, but yeah, there you go. So it's full of snow, it's you know about an inch, inch in. So we'll go ahead and melt this stuff. Um, that didn't really take as long. Um, in fact, I think it was about a minute or two after I shut that camera off that it was completely melted. But uh, for this demonstration, I don't really want to bore you with just staring at a fire. So, um, but as you can see also, the nice thing about the solo stove too is that it burns all the fuel pretty well. I mean, every time I've ever used this, I just leave it for, I think about 15 minutes to a half hour. And by that time, all the, the ashes and everything, I mean, it literally just makes ashes. It doesn't make any clumps or anything like that. It's just pure ash. That's another thing I like about it is it's easy cleaning. So I'll go ahead and melt this. And this one will probably take a while. But uh, also the you know like I said the Altoids tin for making your char cloth you can put it there's three little inlets on this thing if you've never seen one and that's what's holding this piece on there. And if you put this on there just right it will work really well and I've made quite a bit of char cloth with that. Uh, one thing that I'm going to be trying here one of these days soon is uh, I had a, a comment on here uh, about a week ago or so from a gentleman that told me a little bit of an easier way to make the char cloth and uh, I gotta say thank you again for putting that comment on there. I'll have to try it and see if it works you know, uh, the, pro the reason why I do these videos is for one, I'm trying to learn a lot. I'm trying to learn anything I can. And also, I want to show you the mistakes that I make or if I do something correctly. Um, that way you don't have to make the same mistake or you can try to find a better way of doing it. I have noticed also, and you, everybody's probably aware of this already, but the time that I've been gone, I've noticed that you have to have a Google Plus to read your account or read your comments and everything. And so if you do leave a comment, I do apologize if it takes a little while to respond. But I do have a Google Plus account, so I'll be responding to your comments as soon as I can. Uh, so I'll just, you know, take a little while for this. And it's getting done there so I'll just take a little while here I'm still using my charade and uh, I didn't call it charade this time I called it a charade <laughs> but uh, and then this time what I use is just the matches uh, one of these days when it's cold out, I'll 
try to use my favorite method. But today it was just kind of one of those spur of the moment videos. I wasn't really too prepared. Um, so I apologize if, you know, if this is kind of a, a worse or not a good video. It's kind of a spur of the moment. But uh, it's working pretty well. So it's it's still gonna take a little while for this to to boil down. So I'll go ahead and stop the video again. And then once it's done doing its thing, I'll put it back on. And then if if any of you think that I'm doing something wrong, just let me know. If you want me to show the full video of me melting snow, I can redo it for you. I just wanted to save you guys some time. So, with that said, I'll, I'll be back when this is all melted. Well, actually, it's all melted right now. So, well, maybe. Yeah, let's do a little bit of ice. There's not too much. I think you guys can stick with me for a couple more seconds, can't you? Um, the one thing also about the solo stove is it's not one of those things that you want to feed it fuel and then leave. You want to keep a close eye on it. Uh, the only reason for that is because it burns fuel pretty efficiently, but it, if you use little twigs and stuff, it, it doesn't last very long. It burns it up pretty quick. Um, the same thing with if you're using little pieces like this. I mean, I'd cut this in half, but even chunks like this, just big enough to fit in there, it goes by pretty quick. So you want to make sure that you keep an eye on it quite a bit. And it's it's really nice too because it's nice and light. Um, every time I have it in my backpack, I, I kind of forget that it's there. And uh, it's just really, really nice thing to use. And then after I get done melting all this snow and stuff, then I'll kind of show you a little bit more about it. Let's take a few moments here. So you want pieces about that big, uh, probably about two inches or so. You can just stick them right in there and they burn pretty good. Uh, I guess I'll cut this one one more time, but it doesn't take much. It's all melted here. So with this thing full, there's how much water. Alright, so with that much, it is done about 11 ounces. 11 ounces of water for I don't know, about seven, eight cups of snow. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. All right, now I'm looking forward to trying these. Uh, so you can see they're, they're all shiny and everything. I haven't used them yet. But I know you can use the lid and also the little pot. You can use both of them. So I'm looking forward to trying these things out and see how they work. And again, this the pot, the lid, the little holder, and then there's like a cup and then a little bowl. And they all came in a little mess kit from Walmart. Uh, I don't remember how much they cost, but uh, I've used the pot a couple times when I've been out working and stuff. Uh, I go some places that are in the middle of nowhere. And... Uh, I use that for for making uh, 
noodles and stuff, but we've always had a little stove to use. This is my first time actually using it on the solo stove. And it fits, you know, fits pretty well. So, with, uh, without me rambling on anymore, I'm going to go ahead and shut this video off again. So I'm back again, and uh, it's all melted here. So we'll go ahead, and it doesn't feel too hot either. So we'll go ahead and pour that in here. It's probably not going to be that much from this one, because it's so small, but let's take a look here. It's about 200 milliliters of water that came out of that one. So, kind of the point of this is if you're out in the middle of nowhere, you can use snow, but it's a lot better to use ice because you get more water than air. And, uh, and there's the little pot, it's full of snow. Uh, one thing I've learned too is through this experiment and through my reading and watching the videos like Survivor Man, yeah buddy, and Bear Grylls and Dual Survival, uh, it's always better to have ice. And another thing too is, you probably already know this, but I want to say it anyways, you never want to eat the snow when it's cold out uh, and obviously when there's snow but you don't want to eat the ice if anything if you have a container of some sort put the snow in the container put it inside your jacket and let it melt and then drink it um, I mean it's the snow I've done this before too because I was like oh that's you know that's complete BS you know whatever and I've done it and it does make it a lot colder for you and uh, so always some way or another melts your snow or ice I mean little bits here and there if you're walking around and you know you're you're out hiking stuff it might not be too bad but all I did was I just stood outside like this and ate some snow so and it made me a lot colder but uh, let's see what else here. Uh, well, like you know, like I said earlier, because I walked away for a minute and I came back, and it's the fire's already dead, so I gotta put these in there. There we go. So you you know you have to do some maintenance on it, or not maintenance, but you gotta keep an eye on it. But uh, I love using this thing. I've used it for a little over a year now. Every chance I get, I use it. There we go. So, I don't know if I showed you this about the knife or not, but the shred, I put a little more knife on the side. It's this one. So, put it on the side there, that way you have two knives. One, if the shred's too big for something, you got the mora, and uh, you know if you gotta do some notches or little little stuff. One, it took I want to say roughly about five minutes to melt it all, but it kind of looks like we'll have a little bit of, of water here, and uh, so I'll go ahead pour this in here. This one. I am going to use these because the flame was all over the place. Let's see here. There. So this turned out about 
16 ounces of water. So that's pretty good. So, actually, all right, so with one, two, three, four of these things full of snow, I got one cup of water. So now you know how much snow you need to make a cup of water. <laughs> so and then another thing you can do is so like I said with the Altoids 10, there's three little prong things on here. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. There. So now you got them on here. You can do that. Uh, let's see here. If you guys guys and gals can think of anything else you can do with a solar stove, let me know. I would be more than happy to show it on here. And uh, in case I don't make another video by Christmas, I hope every one of you has a safe Christmas and a happy Christmas and a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And once again, this is Montana Bushcraft bringing you another video. And you all have a nice day now, okay? Take care.